Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival where today we are going to be expanding upon our pirate cove which we built in the last episode. Except we will not be expanding backwards into the jungle, at least not yet, instead we're going to be expanding out into the ocean. For today I would like to build an entire custom island from scratch specifically a volcanic island. Now some of you may be asking why I'm choosing to do this. Fair point, it's a big project, it's gonna take me a while, you might be wondering what is the use of it, and to be completely honest with you, there is no use, I just think it's gonna look cool. Imagine you're walking along the pirate beach here with a whole pirate jungle village behind you, and instead of looking out into the ocean and seeing nothing, let's be honest, <laughs> you can see an entire island with an erupting volcano on top of it. Much better, right? So there are eight blocks that I need to build this island. Dirt, sand, moss block, blackstone, stone, smooth basalt, cobblestone, and andesite, and I need this much of each. Which honestly isn't outrageous, I may have all of that on hand. Okay, maybe not the most efficient way to store all of these items, let me condense them down a bit and we'll take them on over to the pirate area. As far as the actual location of the island is concerned, the only thing I really care about is the ability to see it from the shore here, so as long as I can see the shore from out in the ocean, we should be good. And honestly, a spot like this that I'm about to fall into is probably the best possible spot because the terrain under the water here is quite high up. So when it comes to building the underwater part of the island, that's going to make my life a little bit easier. Anyway, it's time to start the building, so enjoy me 3D printing an entire island. We have ourselves an island. But an unfinished island, we've still got plenty more to do. We're going to have some palm trees and other bits of greenery added in. We of course need to animate the top of the volcano. And then comes building the rest of the island underneath the water so it's not just floating. Really not looking forward to that bit. As for the actual island, the main shape of it is done, and you may be wondering why I've decided to use moss instead of grass. Originally, I was going to use grass, but it doesn't look great in an ocean biome. If it were this colour, I'd probably use it. This is quite a nice green grass. But when we're out here in the ocean, mm, not so much. So the moss is just a bit more colourful and vibrant, and we can still plant stuff on top of it, so it's perfectly fine. All in all though, I am pretty happy with this island. I do think there are a couple of things that I could have done to improve it though. Neither of which I'm going to do by the way. And that mainly just comes down to it would take too long, because the first option is to make it bigger. It does seem a little bit chaotic how I've mixed in all of the textures here, and I think if I was just working on a bit of a larger scale it might blend a bit better, but I just don't have the time for that. The other thing I could have done is mixed in some slabs and stairs and a few other blocks like that, similar to what we did with the landscaping and terraforming in the last episode. The trouble is, because we are on such a small scale, adding all of that in as well, I think would have just been too much. And besides, this island is meant to be viewed from far away, and from far away, it does look pretty cool. There is one thing I would like to add to this island that doesn't actually require building. I want this island to be infested with turtles. Okay, maybe not infested with turtles, that sounds like a bit too much, but just have some turtles going in and out from the shore here. The trouble is, I don't think I have any turtle eggs, nor do I know where any turtles actually are in my world. Oh, okay, I take that back, I do have turtle eggs, two of them. That's a pretty good start, but I would like some more just so I can speed up the process a little bit, so... Let's go on a hunt for some turtles. And we can also grab some seagrass because that's what you need to breed them up. You know what? I think I'm good for seagrass. <laughs> I don't plan on having quite this many turtles on the island. It's not quite turtles, but I have found this giant, humongous mansion, which would make for a fun raid. So let me take a screenshot of the coordinates and I can save it for later. 
Hey, hey, we have turtles. I think nine in total, which is like the most amount of turtles I've ever seen spawn naturally. There's so many. So I'm just going to feed them some seagrass, wait for them to lay their eggs, and then steal them. 14 turtle eggs. That should be enough to get started. In fact, 14 in total might be fine. That's quite a lot of turtles. And now we wait for our darling little turtles to hatch into the wild on their beautiful island. Which, as I said, is not done. We have more things to do. The next one being some palm trees and other bushes of that sort. So, slight problem. Remember how I said the grass looked weird here in the ocean biome? Well, leaves do too. Over here in the jungle, they're all luscious and green and super bright. They're glorious. But in the ocean, and there's actually a good example with this tree here, it kind of gradients between them both because it's half in the jungle, half in the ocean. These are just so much more dull than the other ones. And obviously, all of the trees on this island are going to look like this. I'm not quite done here. Just need to do a little cross on the top. That's how I make my palm trees. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan, but I don't know what to do instead. I have had an idea, which is to use some azalea leaves, because these do not change colour depending on the biome. They stay like this, no matter where you are. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Something just doesn't look right. I assume it's because I'm using azalea leaves with jungle wood, and it's just not really correlating in my mind that that's actually a doable thing. <laughs> I'm so used to using jungle leaves with jungle wood that this just seems weird. And I'm not really a fan of it from far away, at least not in comparison to how some of these trees look. So I'm going to stick with the jungle, albeit the darker version of the leaves. As you can see, I haven't done too many trees. I tried adding more and eventually took a bunch down because it just looked like it was too much. I think I've struck a pretty good balance now. And all I've done is palm trees and bushes. Originally, I wanted to do some of the azalea small bushes and some carpets and have some actual grass around the tall kind, but it just looked too much. So I think in this case, keeping it simpler is perhaps better, especially since it's meant to be viewed from far away only. I am really desperate to get rid of that box, by the way, because it just makes the whole island look weird. It's right in the front <laughs> and it just needs to go. But our baby turtles are yet to hatch, so I need to be patient. In case you're wondering, the box is here because zombies and drowned will actually trample turtle eggs and crush them, which uh, obviously we don't want. So whilst I'm waiting for the turtles to hatch and then grow up, I'm going to start what I've really not been looking forward to. And that is building the rest of the island under the water here. So this is going to require placing a lot of blocks. I need to do a gradual slope down to the seabed. Originally, I tried doing something a bit steeper where it kind of just drops off down to about here. And as you can see, it doesn't look great. So going one layer at a time, I need to get down all the way into the bottom of the ocean. And that may not seem too bad, but this is the shallowest part. We have some much, much deeper parts on the other side. To be fair though, it is just placing a bunch of dirt and then layering some sand on top, so it shouldn't be too tedious, just very, very time consuming. As I said, we're going to be placing the sand on top of the dirt, just like I've done here for the rest of the island, because, well, gravity. And I'm going to place the dirt first of all, so I can get a rough idea of how much sand I'm going to have to gather. Sand I don't have much of, but dirt endless amounts. I've got so many shulker boxes just sitting around, I need to use them on something. I've got seven shulker boxes full of dirt, which is over 12,000 blocks. So if that's not enough to do the whole island, I don't know what to do. Because that process is gonna take an absolute eternity. Or at least, I feel like it is. I don't know, maybe it'll go really quickly. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Ah, okay, here we go. Let's start placing some dirt. Okay, that was no way near as bad as I thought it was going to be. 
I managed to get in a bit of a rhythm and it really surprisingly helps building this underwater because you can swim, which is basically like flying around in creative mode, except slowly and you drown sometimes. All in all though, the process was really not too bad. And yes, I know the island looks very weird at the moment. I'm kind of hoping that's because it's dirt and we haven't actually put the sand on top just yet. I used just over four shulker boxes of dirt, which that means I have to gather four shulker boxes of sand, which is still a lot, but once again, I was really expecting more. But before we get that sand, quick update on the turtles, still nothing. These guys take forever to hatch. So I'm gonna have to go and gather some sand, but I'll come back, place it all down, and continue keeping an eye on them. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the volcano at the top. We will be doing something with that. I just kind of want to finish the island first of all. So no time to delay. Let me head to my desert biome where I do all of my digging, get some sand, and place it all around us. It looks a whole lot better, but it's still missing something. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. I'm currently looking at it. Okay, that was a super obvious hint. Uh, it's kelp and seagrass. This stuff is all over the ocean, and it's on absolutely none of my terrain here. So I'm going to grab a whole bunch of bones here, as well as a little bit of kelp, and just kind of spam this stuff everywhere. The trouble is, I don't want too much seagrass because when you grow this, quite a lot of it spawns and if you have a look around the ocean, it's not that much. As you can see, there's some patches missing, so I might try and do it in that way, sort of just pick a few points and just kind of do that and then move on to a bit of a section further away. Maybe I'll just do part of the terrain here and see what it looks like. Okay, and for the grand reveal... Hmm. <laughs> I think it looks better. It's definitely missing the kelp, but obviously that's going to take some time to grow. So let me do this all over the island and we'll see how it looks. The kelp hasn't quite grown to full length yet. In fact, it's not at all grown. I've only just placed it down, but the seagrass alone makes it look a lot, lot better. So I'm now happy to call the terraforming done with the island. And you don't need to tell me in the comments. I know it looks a little bit weird. It really doesn't look natural in Minecraft, but I think realistically in real life, that is life realism, <laughs> not too bad. Anyway, just two things left. One of them I've just glided right over. That is the turtles. I've put some hoppers under them. So when they grow up into adult turtles, once they actually hatch, um, we'll get some scutes, which is cool. Just quickly splicing this in the video here, it's me from well in the future. I made a mistake putting the hoppers down there. Turtle eggs need to be on sand blocks in order to hatch. I fixed it now, but boy oh boy did I waste a lot of time. Just know whenever you see the hoppers with the eggs on top in the rest of the video, I do sort out eventually, I promise. And of course we have to make our volcano do something at the top. Now I don't really want to have lava spewing all over the place and dribbling down the side of the volcano because I've created a beautiful luscious island here. I don't want to ruin it. So I think all I'm going to do is get some campfires and a few lava buckets and just kind of make the top of the volcano smoky and look super hot. As though it's about to erupt. Now I'm assuming campfire smoke can go through lava because if it can't this is kind of not gonna work. <laughs> so let's get all of these down, not forgetting the one in the center, get lots and lots of smoke on the go, and then I'm not gonna fill in every single block with lava, that's unnecessary, I'll just let it all spread so we can kind of cover up all of the campfires, and good, the smoke is going through, and I can't see any flames or any logs, which is fantastic, and the most important thing, what it looks like from afar pretty cool. I'm wondering if it might benefit from putting hay bales underneath the campfires to make the smoke rise even higher. Let me go try that actually. Okay, that might be a bit too much. That is a lot of smoke. Having said that, it 
probably makes sense because when a volcano is erupting or about to erupt, it's going to produce a lot of smoke much higher into the sky than what this is giving off. So maybe it looks a little bit weird or maybe it looks good. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. I can very easily remove the hay bales. So now the final thing I have to do is wait for my turtles to hatch still. They've made like no progress. I mean, these two have cracked once. I think they need to crack twice and then hatch. And I kind of want to have some turtles on this island before we call it finished. So I'm going to edit this video, do some other stuff, probably AFK some more after that. And hopefully I can get these turtles to hatch before this episode needs to go out. Hopefully I'll be right back with some living turtles on the island here. At long last, the turtles have finally hatched and they've grown up and they are now free to swim in the oceans and roam this island, which means my job here is done. So thank you everybody so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye for now.